which is great. What you did was, was if everybody could just shake their heads that they clicked on the blue link and ended up here, right? <laughs> um, that's as easy as it gets. Um, um, instead of clicking the link, you're going to download the, the Zoom link into your device. Now, does everybody search for Zoom, free Zoom app? Yeah. And you would down that to, download that to your device. And when the download's complete, you'll see open. Hi, Ann. And when you see open, it'll automatically take you to a sign up. Yeah. And when you put your information and in, you're going to want the free account, what the free account does is it gives you 40 minutes of free zooming. I think it's with up to 10 people. Now, if you purchase a zoom and correct me if I'm wrong, Lynn, it, if you purchase a yes, zoom yes. account, you actually will be able to add as many people as you want. And then you will have unlimited amount of time. If you're on a cell phone, you're going to have different functions as far as being able to see the people that you're zooming with. If you're on your phone, you have limited um, viewing. If you have a computer, you can see almost everybody at one time. With the cell phone, to be able to see everybody that's zooming, you're going to swipe the whole screen to the left. Touch your screen. Anybody that has an iPhone, touch your screen and look at the bottom. Oh, to okay. see unmute, mute, start, share yeah. session, participants, and more. Got so it. the mute yeah. button is in the bottom left-hand corner. It's right. also the same for the computer, people that are zooming on their computer. So the bottom left, the mute button is going to be one of the most important settings on your Zoom, okay? Most of the time, the host of the meeting will have access to muting and unmuting yourself. And Lynn is our wonderful hostess today who is helping with the meeting. She has access to mute and unmute. But when that person does not have access to it, we're responsible for muting and unmuting ourselves. So it's good to know where that is, how to find it. And what you do is you move your cursor if you have a computer or you tap, lightly tap the screen on your iPhone or your, your Android, and you'll see the commands come up in the bottom. Right. Mute, unmute. Okay. If we look to the next function, stop video. Now, if a red line's through, it means that you don't have a video on right now. Nobody can see you. They can see your name, but they cannot see your face. Now, if you unclick that, take that red line out, you can see that it can, it can, it can close your picture down and just put your name up. And that's an important function as well. Okay. When you get a phone call, you can mute yourself and you can put yourself on, take the video off. So the rest of the people can't see what you're doing. It kind of, you can still hear what's going on, but people just can't see or hear you. About is if you move your cursor and you look at the bottom, you'll see another thing that says participants. That shows you everybody that's on the list and you'll see a line of names come up. And the names will come up and next to the names, you'll see a pretty picture like Lynn has or the or our initials. And it'll also show you who, who is muted and who has their computer picture turned off, their video camera, right? Well, one of the functions that we have is to be able to communicate through chat to anybody on this list, okay? Next to the, uh, when you move, when you go back to the, the video screen, 
You'll look at the bottom and you'll see chat. I want you to hit the chat button. Here is the Zoom front page and it's giving you a choice here. Can you see my, my cursor moving around here? Yes. All right. There's a, up here at the top, it tells you the different things that you can do. Sign in, host a meeting, join a meeting. This is the, the Zoom front page, first page. So I hit um, host a meeting and I'm gonna have to sign in. And when you create your account, your email address is going to be your sign in. When we open up the Zoom, you'll, you're the Zoom that you created, you're going to see um, what time you want to join the meeting, what day you want to make the meeting, and send it to who you want to send it to. So you'll need the email addresses of the people that you want to send it to. And that's how it's going to help you create your own meeting. And this can be repetitive. This can be for the day. The one day that you want to do it, it can be uh, every day, you schedule it for every day at the same time, or it can be once a week, it can be once every other week or once a month. It's all in how you want to schedule it. If you just want to schedule one meeting off the cuff, you can do that too. It'll create a link um, for everybody to join when you send that out through an email. And they'll, all they'll have to do is hit the link, just like you did today to get onto this meeting. And you can copy and paste that link to an email to send it to people that you weren't able to remember at the time. The cost can be free. It all depends on how long you want to have your meeting for. The free account allows you to have up to 10 people in your meeting and it usually runs about 40 minutes. If you want to pay for an account, I think it's $14.99 a month and that can allow you up to 100 people in your meeting and you get, I'm not sure about the time limit. Lynn, you might want to chime in on this one. Um, I think it's for um, an unlimited amount of time for a $14.99 account. And then if you buy a business account, of course, that, you know, that's going to cost a little bit more and give you other options. Okay. Then do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you pay, you get an unlimited amount. It's only the free one where they put a limit on how long you can have it if you have more than three people. So if you want to meet with one other person or just... I think it's just one other person, then you can meet for as long as you want. But once you add more, then it becomes a problem. Like then it only meet for like 40 minutes or something. So he, you can have 10 people and still meet for free if it's under, if it's 39 minutes. Yeah, you still can meet. Like you can, you know, have a decent amount of time to talk, but it will cut you off. Like it end everything. And then it kicks you out? Yeah, it just closes yeah. the meeting, essentially. It, yeah, it gives you um, a visual signal like you're you'll have five minutes left and then after the five minutes, it'll close the room. The good part about it is if you have to, you can everybody can log back in again and start, start another 40 minute session. So it's, you know, you know it's basically the. Uh, you can get around it. If you, if yeah, you can get around it. It's just you have to re-log in again. Yeah, paying for it gives you other perks like recording and streaming and stuff if you're a business 
if you're using it for work, then it's it's useful. Anybody else? It has a picture of a raised hand. Does that mean question? You got a question? Mm -hmm. you, you can use that. Go ahead and hit it once and see what happens. You can use them like if you want to silently contribute to stuff, like if there's a presentation and there's a lot of people and you don't feel comfortable talking, which is usually the case for me. Um, you can put mm -hmm. these things like answer to questions or like you can clap or um, kind of say, I dislike that or I like that. Or okay, it says oh. it's just a hand. Yeah, and it's the same. Does that mean like you got a, you got yeah. a question? Yeah, that would be I have a question. If you lose the control to unmute yourself, you can use the hand functions. The, the person who's running the meeting can usually see them. Right, Lynn? Yeah, I can see all of them. Or if you go into the chat part of the, um, everybody will be able to see it. Okay, and it says more and there's more things. Oh, I see. And then there's like a coffee mug. Yep. Yeah, if you're on your computer and you hover over it with your cursor, it says like clap or like, dislike. The coffee mug is I need a break. And then there's one that says like you're away from oh, okay. You know, your desk or something. Now this is on all the Zoom meetings. Um, I think the host. Yes, it's on. I think it's on your all devices. This chat feature. You can chat always. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. Well, the previous meetings that I've been in, I've never seen like the thumbs up and the clapping and the coffee. Is yeah. that one? I think that depends on the type of meeting. So like I have a business account, so we're allowed to have these. Like we can enable them. Oh, okay. Um, and if okay. You, know, you might not have them, I'm not sure. I've, I've kind of only had a paid one the entire time. So I don't know what it okay. looks like it's just for free, but there might be some things missing. Depends. It works on ours. It doesn't actually. I just tried it too. <laughs> I never realized that. I don't know if that's something I can enable. I well, think. at least it was worth it today. You answer the question for me. I think you can drop and drag it. If you if you drop and drag it, you can move it to wherever you want. Oh, the whole list of people. If okay, it's but, just the list of people, if it's the whole screen, um, you can do single window, you can do double window, you can do see everybody if you have a computer. Um, but if you just, if you're seeing the whole screen, it won't do that. If it's to the right, you'll be able to move it. It's compacted with everybody. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I was just wondering if I could put it up at the top, like I, instead of having everybody go down, have them side by side at uh, the top of the screen. Yeah, I just did that, and you're on the top of the screen now. You are, before you were on the right, now you're on the top. Do you, Do you know how you did that? Yeah, I I clicked on it. Where do you click? I I. Um, to the right of the uh, pictures. Is that the view button? Pardon me? The, you are viewing, like, it, uh -huh. I think like, the little button with the, you like. You click again right next to the picture, and now you, you take up the whole screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. Screen. That's full uh -huh. screen. That's a full screen. Speaker view, what's that look like? Oh, that's that. Speaker view is whoever's speaking will show up on the uh -huh. screen. And then everybody will be off to the left, all the participants. Are you allowed? 
so we can't send out i mean lynn could send out invitations for registration um but at this point i can't i can't invite anybody from this stream okay. at this point and I don't think either of you can either. Lynn might be able to, since she's hosting the meeting, send more invites out. Um, but I can't do any of that now. Host. Being the host, you have a lot more control of your participants. You can create a way. We can have breakout rooms, but um, we haven't really found the need to do that yet. Not yet, anyway. You know how to do it, though? Yeah, I will. Um, I'm not sure if that's a, something you can have in a free account, but um, basically, oh, okay. it's just like a button, and then I choose who. Like, I can choose who put who to put in the room, or I can make it random. I think is the. Okay, so it's more like the host would do something like that. Mm -hmm. If you're like in a big meeting because then if you're just logging in like if you received a link and you're just in a call then the host will be the person who does everything and then you get automatically put into the, the room like you don't have to worry about it or anything okay so the host of the meeting ha rules all the functions of the room how to set it up who to send it to um you can expel people from a room mm -hmm. um, they have the they have every function that you can think of, and we'll work more towards that on the next class. Has any?